Take a look at a, a takedown here using a nerve that um, functions with the hip. Uh, let's see here. We're going to zoom in just a little bit and we'll move him over. And you can see this nerve right here that emanates out from over the hip bone itself. Okay, and this is called the iliohypogastric nerve. And it comes right up over the hip structure itself. And let's get rid of the muscles here for a second. Okay, we can see, start to see the um, hip structure itself. It's called the ilium. Uh, and we see this nerve right in through here. Now let's zoom on this a little bit. And you can see this nerve. That zoomed out. Okay, let's get back in there. All right, we see this nerve coming right over the top. The um, iliac nerve is um, uh, a good slang for it. Um, and it ties right into the spine. Now let's take a look at where it ties into. It ties right into this nerve here, which is the uh, lumbar one spinal nerve. Uh, so what it does uh, basically is when you attack this, it just weakens out that whole leg and the leg will give way and the body will collapse because of its own weight. So uh, it's a great nerve to attack. You want to pinch it down on top of the, um, the bone. So if you're attacking this, you're going to be attacking in this direction. Uh, it's going to just like uh, pinch the nerve right against the bone in through here, and you're going to cause the leg to fail. Now, zooming in on this just a little bit, you're going to start to see that it's wrapped tight to that bone. So uh, there's no escaping it, and this is why it's so um, powerful. Now, you do have to be careful here. If we bring up the um, skin as an example, skin in this area here is going to be extremely um, tender. So if you're uh, attacking this and you punch down on it, what's going to happen is you're going to cause um, uh, hematoma or black and blue uh, on that attack. So uh, be kind with the knuckles especially, but even with the palm on some individuals depending on their um, their blood makeup and their skin makeup and you know their constitution um, and not weakness I'm saying, but um, just the way their, their body is formed, you could get some pretty nasty looking bruises. Um, they dissipate in a while, you just rub them, uh, they'll go away eventually, it doesn't cause any harm other than broken blood vessels in that area. So uh, again, that is the uh, iliac nerve, uh, how I term it, um, and it's called the iliohypogastric nerve coming out of lumbar uh, spinal nerve number one. A great attack to learn for control, takedown, and uh, subjugating your opponent. There's a point right on top of the hip structure itself. Now, most people make the mistake on this point is they'll try and find the hip at the belt line, but it's way higher than that. The hip bone actually comes up and over. It's called the iliac crest. There's a nerve that lays right on top of that bone. If pushed down and in toward the leg, will collapse the leg out. This point is most efficiently struck well. Okay, but again, sometimes you can do it with a slight push. And we're going to try and take it as easy as possible during this filming because there's no use in damaging our opponent. We could use a palm to push down on the point to loosen out that leg to keep the per or drop the person. Very easy to use a palm. There will be no marks, no severe damage except for dropping his knee onto the floor, possibly. I can use a nut and push down. I can use a fist to push down. I can use the forearm to come down to drop him as well. Okay, so if we're grabbing on and I shift it, I can just come right up underneath and push to get the person down. Okay, all these we're taking it easy on just to demonstrate for the camera. Okay, this one I'm going to go with just a little bit more with. Okay, so if I slip underneath and I push, we can take the person down and now I can get him into a control.
Another way we could do this is if we're grappling it through here, just to strike both of them, you can see how the legs can automatically kick out. We can drop the person down onto the ground. You can escalate it from there. Okay, so here's the grab them to each other. Third party, okay, using this same point. I have to break these two up and drop seven in. Now I can get this person over here. I drop down in and on the sky, get him under control as well.